What's up guys, it's Trevor with Embers Living. Today we're talking wood inserts. What is a wood insert? Wood insert is if you have an old, typically a brick masonry fireplace, usually larger, um, and you wanna turn that old open drafty fireplace into something efficient, what we're gonna do is put in an efficient wood burning insert like this. So today I'm giving you my top five, pa 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 pa, top five favorite wood inserts. And I'll talk to you about what settings and applications they're great for. Let's go. Don't forget if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, you can come to our showroom and check out these products for yourself if you want to. If you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, follow us on all the channels, TikTok, all the things. Helps us out a ton when you guys do that. All right, so if you're trying to decide, first of all, if you want to do a wood insert, what the benefits of wood inserts are, Maybe you're trying to even decide if you want to do wood or gas. We'll include links below. We did a pros and cons of gas versus wood. If you want to check that out. So here's my top five favorite wood inserts. Now, what's the criteria to sort of meet the top five? I'm looking for, um, you know, modestly priced. So everything we sell is high quality. So we're, we don't have anything crazy cheap, but I'm, I'm looking for stuff that's not crazy expensive. I'm looking for good quality backed brands. These are the brands that we have the least amount of warranties and service calls on, that's important. And then style, aesthetic, performance, et cetera, that type of thing. And before I go any further, all the wood inserts we sell are EPA phase two qualified, super efficient, super clean burning, overnight burns. So I'm not gonna get into efficiencies too much because on some of these units you're splitting hairs. Bottom line is it's gonna drastically improve efficiency regardless of what you go with, because that's everything that we offer. So coming in at number five is gonna be the Regency CI2700 series. Bah! So how about the brand Regency? Well, the brand Regency is made up in Canada. They're known for their wood burning products. They make a plethora, plethora of wood burning inserts. The CI2700 series though is one of their biggest ones that gives us these nice, flush, clean lines. And uh, it's sort of more of a modern, contemporary look. You can order the same firebox in a traditional look, but one of the things I like about it is um, obviously the, the really nice, clean look that it has, but it is a hybrid model. So what I mean by that, if you come in here, is we got our fire bricks sitting in here. So our fire bricks are gonna line these sidewalls here, but it's using a reburn technology. So you can see these reburn tubes up in here. So our fire is gonna hit this reburn area and it's gonna reburn um, and create efficiency that way. But it also has a catalytic combustor in it. So this is gonna be our bypass for the catalytic combustor. So using that hybrid technology, you're sort of getting the best of both worlds and it's gonna create longer burn time. So out of everything I'm showing you here, this one's gonna have one of the longest burn times. If you're interested to know what the difference is between reburn technology and the catalytic combustor, uh, we'll include a link below. Uh, we did a whole video on that. You can check out that video as well. One thing I like about Regency too is I look for just well thought out things when it comes to wood burning. So burning wood, high heat, you're gonna have problems with uh, things wearing out. So for example, I like that our latch system is on the outside of the firebox. Sometimes when that latch system is on the inside of the firebox, these kind of, kind of smaller parts are 10, they're gonna wear faster. We got good, strong gasket material here. This handle comes off, so it's not gonna be hot all the time. So you can sort of keep this to the side, put this on, boom, away you go. Our air control is gonna be right here. So we do have air control on this thing. So this is the Regency CI2700 series. Should we get to number four? Let's do it. All right, coming in number four, it's gonna be the MF Fire Novo 2 series. All right, so what do we like about this guy? Well, we have this set up as a stove model, but the firebox is the same, whether you do the insert model or the stove model. Kind of like the Regency, it's really nice, clean, modern lines, very minimal. It's gonna give you a nice flush install. Um, in the insert, but probably my favorite thing is how big the viewing area is. So this is going to be a catalytic stove. So you're gonna have on your insert, this is gonna be like this here, and you're gonna pull this down, or, and then forward, 
That's how you're gonna engage your catalytic combustor. So you can see we've definitely burned this one and we'll show you some highlights of the burn video. It's got an angled front, we'll show you a picture, but it's cool. I think it's an unexpected result is it sort of pushes the fire forward. Probably my most favorite thing about this insert, see this uh, diagonal wall back here? Our catalytic combustor is up in this wall, but the way this diagonal wall is, I think this unit out of all the top five units has the prettiest burn. So I love the fire characteristics of this unit. Of course it has an air wash system. It's gonna keep the glass clean. And uh, I just think it, it's the, the most attractive burn. Being catalytic, it's gonna have, of course, overnight burns and a nice big viewing area. Not many options. It comes with a blower, have a surround, but there's not really much to choose from. It kind of is what it is, but one of the more attractive things is going to be the, uh, the way the fire is gonna look in the viewing area. Again, our latch system's on the outside of the firebox. It's gonna use traditional fire brick, but again, nice, tall viewing area, which is my favorite thing. All right, should we move on to number three? All right, coming in number three, the Supreme Fusion Series. All right, so this is the smallest in the Supreme lineup. What do we like about Supreme? Well, like, every, like I mentioned, everything's efficient, EPA certified. But what's really cool is we have um, our regular air control, but they do a thing that's called automatic air control. So it's basically essentially got like a heat coil in there. And as it heats up and cools down, it's gonna automatically damper and adjust your air control for you. So that's a really sort of slick design. Also, the 18 you can see here is very tiny. So being that it's really small, it fits a niche for smaller fireboxes. Um, so we typically see that a lot. The 24 is essentially the same thing, just bigger. And then they just came out with the Loomis 32, which is gonna be their tallest and their lineup, which have, again, a nice big viewing area. What else I like about Supreme is they are going to have um, kind of a unique little barbecue stand in there. I personally have never ran across someone that's buying a wood insert so they can cook inside of it. However, you have that option if you need, if you need it. So it's just something to think about. Again, one of the more modern, contemporary, clean, flush lines when it comes to an insert. And it does come standard with a blower. And we can also do an upgrade to a stainless steel trim if you wanted something super, a lot more contemporary on this guy. But uh, one of our more popular sellers when we have a really modern home, I would say out of all the inserts, the Supreme is probably the most modern. So if you're really after that modern look, I would definitely steer you towards the Supreme series. All right, should we get to number two? Coming in number two is gonna be the Vermont Castings Montpelier series. All right, what do we love about Vermont Castings? Well, if you watch any of my other wood burning videos, you know I'm a big fan of Vermont Castings. They're probably my favorite cast iron uh, product. And of course, in this insert, this is the only insert we're reviewing that's actually cast iron. Uh, we love the Montpelier because it's just sort of timeless. Again, nice clean lines, but sort of that timeless. It's not traditional, it's not contemporary, it's just timeless, I guess you could say. Uh, never go out of style type look. So we have this in the Majelica Brown, which is the more of the porcelain finish, or you can get it in the plain black. So it is gonna be a reburn stove. So you can see we have our fire bricks in here and then our reburn baffles are up here. That's gonna allow for the secondary burn chamber. And then our air controls are gonna be right here. And then check this out. Down here, you can see we have our blower controls. We can turn our blower off and on and then adjust the dial of our blowers. And I just like how it's classically hidden there. Then we do have these cool little and irons and then the firebox actually dips down. So I like that design because it makes it really difficult for ash to sort of come out on the hearth. And then again, like all the units, it has a nice big viewing window, which I really like. And then our blower is gonna blow out here. And uh, it does come, they have the new Gifford unit, which essentially looks the same as this, just a little bit smaller. So yeah, that's it on the Vermont casting. They're making this unit forever. Um, like I said, it's timeless, it's classic really well designed, really hard to beat the look of. And uh, I love that all my controls are just sort of hidden. I think it gives us the most polished look and it kind of has a little bit of an arch to it, 
The door is definitely arched, so it kind of gives you that nice little arched look. That's the Vermont cast, Castings Mont Pillar. Should we get to number one? All right, time to get to number one, and that's gonna be the Montlake series by Iron Strike. Okay, Iron Strike, these guys used to be made up in uh, Washington State, and I think they moved their factory to Alabama. They still have their Washington State spot, so I don't know if they're making these, but I've, I've been to the factory before, seen these coming off the line. So it's a steel stove and a very traditional look. You can see, the, the, there's a couple of reasons it's my favorite. One, the 300 series, which is what we're showing you here, it's huge. So it has a 3.0 cubic firebox. So if you're just looking for something like the biggest, baddest wood insert to heat your home with the biggest box, most powerful unit, this is gonna be what you want. This unit right here, the Montlake 300 series, there's nothing bigger, okay? Now, one of the things that, thing is, is people don't necessarily love when the insert comes out on the hearth, but if you think about it, that's what allows for that deep firebox because by coming out onto the hearth, we're gaining those eight or nine inches inside the firebox. And uh, again, like all the units, a nice tall viewing area. Our blower's gonna blow out here. A um, Couple things I really like about this unit is going to be just talking with them. One of the things they said is the way they source their steel. Uh, I've never tested it or I, I guess proven it, but one of the, the pitches they say is that they're sourcing higher quality steel. So whether that's US made steel, I'm not sure. It's made in the United States, but uh, uh, they say their quality of steel is better. So that's gonna help it from rusting, warping, popping, things like that. The thickness of gauge of the steel itself. But my absolute favorite thing, check this out, is we have a full cast iron heat exchanger. And Chris, you're probably gonna have to show them some overlays on their website. But see this monster cast iron plate here? This sits on the top of it, and this thing just starts ripping and gets crazy hot. So that's gonna help with heat retention and getting heat out into the room. Because if you think about it, long after your fire's out, that cast iron top could stay hot for hours. So it could be kind of like working like a heat pump into your home for a couple hours. On top of already just having the biggest, baddest firebox, to have that cast iron heat exchanger in there is pretty cool. It is a reburned stove, so it's not gonna run on a catalytic combustor or anything. You can see our reburned tubes up in there. Again, our latch system is on the outside of the firebox. It does have air control. Our blower controls are gonna be right here on the side, it does come pre-installed with blowers. It's just the biggest, baddest machine in the wood insert category. IMO, in my opinion, uh, I think it's the best out there. When, when heat is your primary concern. Now aesthetics, maybe not number one, but functionality and primary heat system, oh yeah. So some of you Midwesterners, some of you people out east on oil, is what you want, I promise. If you're on propane, oh yeah, that's gonna be for you. All right, that's my wrap up of top five. Obviously there's a ton of wood inserts out there. It's really, it was really, really hard to pick the top five. There's another, a lot of great candidates out there. Uh, just my opinion, that's my top five. If you have any questions, call or text our staff. We'll see you guys next time. Wanna do a thumbnail?